this is a general video discussion about reducing boards um, using this N64 as a good example. A lot of the retro console systems are two layer. In other words, all the contacts are on the top and the bottom of the board. If you were to cut through this board um, and notice any additional layers, and of course it would be multi-layer. It's very, very hard to trim down a multi-layer board because frankly you can't see what you're doing. However, as mentioned, retro systems are uh, usually two-layer. Therefore, what you see on the top and how they connect is what you see on the bottom. So, for example, if you were to cut an area and cut through these components by mistake, obviously that's not a very good idea. But if you notice on the silver grounding, um, with all the holes going through, that for example, where these are, is where these are. And therefore, this grounding on the edge can be removed. If you just trim off to the edge so you can still see past the silver, you know that you have contact along the board. If in doubt, always use a multimeter um, from A to B. And then when you've done any trimming, if you've made a mistake and it no longer makes the contact, you can then connect a wire between the two and uh, cross fingers, everything should still be okay. The um, aspect of relocating on this board is not particularly simple, uh, mainly because a lot of the contacts on the board, a lot of the traces on the board, are um, directly responsible for the clock timings um, of the system. So for example, when I tried to cut the board up some time ago, uh, all was going fine until I came to this particular connection, um, which was responsible, I believe, for that chip. Um, suddenly the video went off, the audio went to about double speed. Um, it just really went absolutely crazy. But the idea of this was I was just trying to make the system a lot smaller than it was. Um, you can't do anything with the inside of the board on the N64 for that reason. However, you can do the edges and the sides. Uh, for example, the connections where you um, pin towards the game cartridge um, can be relocated. If you were to wire directly to their end locations, as I've done here, this board did work. A couple of the wires are broken loose. It doesn't matter now. The thing is, I use the kind of wire which, um, as mentioned previously, is not particularly good for connections. This board did boot, but most of the time it didn't. And it was not just the case of using these very sort of thin tight wires with lots of interference, as I later discovered, but also the fact that some of the power lines I used, I used thinner wire than I should have done. I didn't quite get enough amperage. But you can see the general principle of what can be reduced from the board. And by the same token, for example, this is a video plug, on the back you see the traces going directly to the various contacts on the back. If you were to wire there, it would be the same process as wiring here. Um, and therefore, again, you could trim this piece of the board off. If you see any pins going through, pinholes going through, you need to make sure, of course, that wherever that connects to um, is reconnected on the system um, as required. For example, this one just goes to ground. So what you can do, if you really wanted to, is cut away this edging and that edging, um, relocate this so that this can also be reduced, and along the controller side, and just again wire to the corresponding places as required. However, in practice, and it's a personal note really, I don't see a lot of points unless you're really trying to make something incredibly small, because as you see, that's a typical PlayStation screen it fills the area. So, going to my storage area, this is the board for the PlayStation and again although you can trim the edges down slightly as you see it fills up because the board's quite small there really isn't a lot of point in reducing the N64 console down a lot but you can take the edge part off if you need to like for example it gets in the way of the joystick same as you would do here on the board